morning. This is my good friend Martin Kelly and Martin has a BA Honours in Art. He's a graphic designer um, but as well as doing all the normal things that a graphic designer or what you might think would be the normal things a graphic designer does i.e. Uh, producing posters and flyers and what have you um, Martin uh, creates and illustrates comic books. He uh, illustrates uh, books. He does book covers and now he's doing something slightly different in the art world. Martin is using his uh, computers to digitally paint now this is this is a, a relatively new technique that's new to me anyway um, and I must emphasize that this method of painting is not at all like a single click photoshop filter. Martin uses a software program called Sketchbook Pro and uh, you can get this on digital tablets and this program is dedicated to artists who want to sketch and paint via the computer and a lot of artists are moving away from traditional methods of using paint uh, on canvas to uh, produce paintings they're moving to computer a digital computer painting martin uses a, a wacom digital pen and tablet to paint and blend every individual paint stroke and you can easily see this these individual strokes um, on his uh, digital paintings if you look closely so I'll, I'll just show you a, a wee bit of the, the process uh, that takes place to produce uh, these paintings so here's stage one the sketching of the Harley Davidson motorbike on computer Stage two, filling in the background paint. And you can easily see the individual strokes there. If I zoom in. And this is what you would do in a normal painting, a canvas painting. Moved a lot further along, but not completed yet. Nearly done. This is the finished product which looks rather good. Obviously, just as a, an interested uh, bystander, I haven't much of a clue as to, you know, what exactly Martin does um, in his computer room. So, you know, if you want the intricacies of what he does, then you need to get in contact with him and uh, ask your questions online. And um, so, but I'm I'm showing you some of uh, what he ha he has produced lately. There's a whole variety of uh, these digitally produced paintings. Um, these ones I'm going to show you are to do with the Second World War. Uh, Spitfire flying over Helen's Tower, Clandy Boy. Another Spitfire flying over um, Carrick Fergus Castle and the town 
as it was back in the 1940s. Because Martin is very attentive to detail. Spitfire over Scrabo. Ground crew just checking during last minute checks, flight checks on a Spitfire squadron. And we had Spitfire squadrons in Northern Ireland during the Second World War. Um, it was, uh, I think, it was a Polish squadron based down at Bally Halbert. So they were about the place. Now this is moving away from the the uh, the aeroplanes, just to show you uh, a wee bit of variation. German machine gunners. So there you, there you have it. So that's, um, I'll be doing possibly a series of uh, on Martin's uh, pictures uh, that you might want to see. He does all sorts of um, uh, digitally produced paintings. Um, there's a whole variety. He does tractors. He does. Uh, cars, he does motorbikes, he does uh, family pets, um, you know, he can turn his hand uh, to, to painting uh, anything and everything. And um, these, you know, you know, he's producing these um, Spitfire paintings um, in prints, in print form, and um, whenever you contact him, you can, uh, you know, you can ask him for one of these, and I think they're they're going for uh, fifty five pounds, and that's framed and all, so uh, that's brave, brave good value. And I'll I'll put uh, contact details at uh, in the information blog underneath the the, uh, the video here. But there's, there's his contact actually, www.martinkenny.co.uk And I, I think he deserves uh, support. I think he's good. And there's, there's nobody has produced uh, paintings like this of, of uh, local landmarks with uh, Spitfires flying past. Not to my knowledge anyway. So, uh, Father's Day present, uh, or, or something like that, maybe this would fit the bill.